Hey folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm uh, at my rooftop doing another fragrance list for you. A little bit unwell uh, since yesterday. I uh, think day before I got some food, takeaway. Uh, the food wasn't that great. I think it was expired or something. Here in Bangladesh nowadays, you know, due to the lockdown, many people are becoming desperate. Anyway, so I suffered kind of whole day yesterday, a body ache and all that. I slept through the whole day. So today I woke up and I came up just to walk for a while. But the problem is, uh, you know, not the problem. The nice thing is after a long time, we're getting against some colder weathers, 16 degrees with nice chill. So sun's gonna come up soon, but still pretty chill. So I decided to go with my favorite fragrance, scent of the morning is Amouage Jubilation 25. Okay. This is their one of their best fragrance release from this house of Oman. Okay. So what I did was <clears throat> I have set up 12 fragrances. Uh, 12 fragrances uh, that I thought of this list yesterday. I wanted to do it yesterday but I'm doing it today. 12 fragrances basically were some of the most popular fragrances and they now become now they have become classics. What do I mean by classic? These fragrances now are like forever in a you can say uh, in a museum of uh, memories of people. You know, this fragrance, when most people they see, they recognize these and they have become true classic over the years. They sold well. Perhaps most of them are still selling well and they have a lot of flankers, successors. But these fragrances right here, I'm going to show you today, they are well loved by people. So you can say, you know, like these fragrances are some of the best sellers in the past as well. So let's show you one by one, a little bit talk on each, okay? And uh, we'll start with random order. They're all equally valuable to me. First fragrance I'm going to show you, Leudese Purum by Ese uh, You're going to hear some noise that door is banging because of the uh, breeze, okay? It's very breezy. As you can tell behind me, the trees and everything is a bit breezy. So I hope I don't get catch a cold. So this bottle, it's one of my uh, almost finished bottles. I have to buy a backup. This is a more modern formulation. I had one in older formulation. So Leudese Purum, basically, it's a freshie with that yuzu, you guys know. It's a very sharp yuzu and it's very sharp citrus and it's very unique. Uh, I actually wanted to put Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Purum by Men, but I'm showing you this one today uh, because this one is a true classic. This one still sells like hot cake, you know, and in Bangladesh, it's not really super cheap. So you can wear this in the warmer months as well as colder months. Lodese Purum by Isimiyake, one of their top sellers. One of the most iconic fragrances once again. So number two, I'm going to show you. I've shown you this a few days back. This is Yop Om the pink juice this is basically ideal for our weathers now when you hear 16 degrees most people will be like hey that's not that cold i mean if you get down here in bangladesh we get up to 45 even 48 degrees 50 sometimes you know so compared to that our winters this time it was almost disappointing but this winter it's like outside dhaka it's like uh five six degrees here in capital city is less cold so basically we're getting 16 degrees 15 degrees which is very nice for winter so this one is ideal to wear it has this cotton candy pink vibe also has similarity to uh, people say Mont Blanc individual and creates original santal but i feel this is the big daddy of all those sweet syrupy fragrances not for everybody definitely uh, it was in actually women's aisle when it came out first i really uh, think this is a cinnamon floral bomb and uh it's basically a fragrance for men who are now around 40s. You know, their 40s, they actually love this. Especially in UK, it has a lot of love. And also in USA, okay? So Yopom, love it or hate it. Beautiful fragrance still. Okay, so two gone. We have 10 left. Let me show you one more of the classic. This is uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal. All these fragrances are iconic right now, okay? So what's great about Lamal is this is a top seller. It's well loved. It's loved by people like crazy. Uh, this is the mint, lavender, vanilla, and I think there is a tonka, a few other notes played, but it's for me, it opens up very fresh. That mint is very fresh, but it goes powdery. And uh, many people have l sentimental value towards it. And this is more of my new batch. I think I had uh, Puig, I had a BPI version. So basically, I know decent batches of it but not the vintage vintage i heard was really really good so this fragrance people say it's not relevant anymore but i feel you know like colder days like this i feel like this actually is a very trusted buddy and i, I really like wearing it it really projects and lasts really long still with the new formulation in the colder months definitely try it out even though they have a lot of flankers like lamal uh i think parfum Oh, I forgot the name. Lama Le Parfum and they have Ultra Male. They have quite a few ones. Le Parfum and then uh, I think EDP. They have few flankers released, but this one still to me is a classic. Okay, now it became uh, like Hall of Fame. You know, that kind of a fragrance. Lamal by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Next one is a true classic. 
one second this is david of cool water i'm bringing it back for a long time i love showing this bottle uh this is basically like a trip to memory lane isn't it uh, i love how awesome this bottle looks i have a 200 ml because i finished my 75 125 or 120 and then i bought a big bottle the cool water thing about this this one is almost uh, outdated in most people's accounts even for me i don't find cool water to be something really appealing that i want to wear every day it has a vintage vibe now you know so cool water basically is a fragrance summer time and mild cold weather is like spring you know fall it just early morning you want to feel feels real bit fresh a little bit green a little bit lavender you know this one has that some people compare this with greenish tweed but i find them are very very different greenish tweed for me is a much more uh formal and much more um complex compared to this this one is easy wear and this one is still uh selling like hot cake so no sign of this being taken down this is their money maker david of cool water on the iconic fragrances uh next one i think yeah uh next one is going to be dior's fair night okay um i don't know how many i brought i thought I had do you know yeah 12 yeah so next one is going to be dior's fair night fair night is a true classic but one interesting thing about this is this one doesn't feel dated despite having so many years on its uh, name this still sells like one of the top dior fragrances like in most of the dior boutiques i saw in malaysia maybe people are going crazy over it maybe savage is their top seller right now but this one man the dna of it it's still i mean one of the best dna's in the game that gasoline vibe check out the reviews if you haven't by any chance uh, tried it definitely try dior fernite is that true classic right now amazing fragrance all year round the floral uh, kind of like the violet that uh, kind of like gasoline vibe really really is nice then we're going to show you polo green yeah i understand this fragrance is not everybody's favorite but those who loved it really loved it and still swear by it so they have quite a few uh, like not flankers you know you can say uh, interpretation of this one over the years but the original polo blue uh, i mean sorry polo green blue was also a classic but i'm showing you green today uh this one uh, it has this harshness about it in the modern day previous days it has this piney kind of i think leather green uh, a little bit animalic and this cold weather this still smells really nice you really have to love green and leather fragrances like vintage fragrances to enjoy these you know polo safari this one a little bit mature man like your father figure kind of fragrance okay but still now i would consider this has to be in this list because this one over the years has been iconic every time you went to a fragrance shopping you would see polo has their red blue black green bottles all the time this is a trust such a beautiful vintage fragrance polo green definitely give it a try after that we're going to show you another one uh, i keep saying we who are we who <laughs> here me Next one is this one, Thierry Mugler Angel Man. I'm sorry my bottle is almost towards finishing. Is that blue juice? I have actually full bottle of the vintage 2010 um metal flask version which is very heavy so that's why I didn't bring it. This one at this point, trust me, this fragrance is still relevant to many because it has one of the like craziest notes breakdown if you go to fragrantica you'll see how many notes are there if i want to enlist it will take at least 2 minutes so basically what this is is a coffee patchouli tar you know dark chocolatey um, i can remember like uh, there was a note of i think perhaps leather so basically this has lot of flankers and every single flanker was almost successful almost all of them few of them were not a hit but angel man at this point since i started watching reviews back in the days people loved it a big reviewers OG reviewers like mark this would be their number one every single year okay almost so this is a cold weather fragrance it takes time when you have it it's a must for any collector i'll tell you uh, to understand complexity of fragrances to understand pure malt have one like fragrances you have to know this one so pure uh, like it's not pure uh, angel man or amen is true classic right now and it's still relevant to my no- nose you know if you like coffee fragrances fragrances try this colder months it's amazing longevity Next is a fragrance I don't have the bottle that I want to show you but I have a successor of it. If you see the bottle you understand what this is. This is Hugo Boss bottled uh, intense EDP. But I want to show you just the Hugo Boss bottle, the f- refreshing citrusy apple kind of woody floral mask that fragrance. This is more 
stronger version of it but it's missing the charm of the citrusy you know the i love this performance is great way better than the boss bottle nowadays but boss bottle back in the days used to smell really strong i used to have we means me my my dad and me we used to have smaller bottles 100 ml bottles 200 ml bottles we went through the highest number of bottles is this one in armani's code okay so today i'm not showing armani's code i'm showing you hugo boss bottle this one's such a classic smell everywhere in malaysia we went we stayed there for 20 years right this fragrance everywhere people wear it like crazy still wearing it like crazy it sells a lot it will never be like out of production i i hope you know hugo boss bottle is just a classic stunner classic one of the safest fragrance to give to people you know and just a beautiful stunning perfume one of their best from this house hugo boss bottle next one is a fragrance perhaps not many people would show but i am proud to show you this one because this one has been my uh, go-to guy in my university college years okay this is daniel desire red just called daniel desire back in the days i used to have a bottle that said at the side i think yeah at the side daniel desire uh, red or something now new batches come with this metal plate and a little bit different bottle still this fragrance is epic of epic proportions if people do not give it love i will uh, daniel desire red is one of the top sellers at least I saw in Malaysia, such a popular perfume, such a popular fragrance, like uh, it has sweetness. I saw, I went to one hospital, I saw a nurse wearing it, like a dude, he was rocking it like it was crazy, projecting one time. And I asked him, are you wearing De Desire Red? He said, yes, it's been my father's signature scent, it's mine, because my father is, I think his father was uh, like, uh, past, uh, like his father was no longer around, so uh the, he was wearing it in memory of his father so it has great memories of me i used to keep this in my car for 10 years didn't go bad you know not this bottle and the bottle that i left in malaysia but this one uh, and one more fragrance i'm going to show you are my absolute favorite this is a true classic daniel desire red you have to try it once in your life sweet uh, kind of like a leather amber based fragrance for all year round Next is the fragrance I was talking about when I was showing you Daniel Desire Red. It's this one. Uh, after a long time showing you CK1. Um, man, what can I say about CK1? It and the next two are very much some of the biggest names in fragrance history for last, you can say, two decades or so. I mean, this one, I think, is from that era. CK1 is their top seller for a very long time. Until recent times, they have some great releases, but nothing will beat the sales of CK1 in my humble opinion and CK Eternity, I think. But CK1, they released it. It was instant hit. Uh, this is uh, absolutely affordable. It's unisex. It's citrus. It's so easy to wear. Citrus, musk, and then I think florals. It has some other notes, but it just smells like every time you spray it, it brings back memories, you know. This is my Think more new formulation but used to have an older formulation I used to have a smaller sticky on the bottle uh, that bottle i used to keep in the car for i think again just like daniel desire it was always in my you know like uh, car even though it was not a good idea but uh ck one served me well at the one point i got sick of wearing this <laughs> because it was too much you know like the the sometimes the muskin has become a bit too much but still you cannot deny ck one is one of the most iconic fragrances now hall of famer Hopefully this video is going well. <laughs> the next one, second last one is similar looking bottle. This is Aqua Di Gio. I, I'll tell you one thing. There are two parts of the story. Okay, first part of the story is I always saw this. Uh, my uncles, my elder brothers wore it. My mother's brother used to wear it. And uh, he used to have the first batch. And he used to smell, my God, such a masculine man. Like, you know, when you see uncles, you want to like look at them like, wow, his collection of CDs and, you know, perfumes. And, you know, like uh, very handsome guys. My uh, uncle used to be a pi not pilot. He used to be a not ship captain. Yeah. So he used to have like uh, international cargo. He used to be a captain of that. And then he was in charge of a uh, jetty. So anyway, uh, back in the days i could never afford it and still now till date this has a lot of flankers i just ordered aquadigio profumo 200 ml but i'm gonna buy a backup bottle of this 200 ml out of respect this one was an iconic fragrance okay uh, people back in the days in 90s or something when they woke up uh, not woke up they grew up i remember uh, white t-shirt and green jeans like denim jeans and people are rocking this like my elder brothers they were like those who are a little bit better off their father used to get them from states and stuff in Bangladesh and uh, man this used to have like whole day longevity nowadays it's like four hours is vanished but the feel of this fragrance still there it's like oceanic kind of like mandarin orange a little bit citrus and then a little bit spiciness uh, 
this became one of the most iconic fragrances one of the top sold fragrance in the world okay so aquadigio is definitely in this list last but not least this is my personal favorite and many of you may not agree because like this one is not that vintage but it in many ways it is you know this fragrance is a true classic now and this is versace's purum or versace's signature this fragrance i'm feeling a little bit cold hold <laughs> a little bit cold because the breeze on oh, my ears yeah yeah better um, i may start sneezing that's why i cover my ears so anyway uh, i apologize versace purum basically is a fragrance now uh, it is one of the most masculine smelling fresh floral perfumes i'm recapping these fragrances because they are always going to be in people's uh, mind you know like 10 20 years from now people would say the kids would say their dad used to smell like this this was their signature scent that uh that kind of fragrance you know this kind of uh, legendary perfume is versace purum i smell it for the very first time i fell in love with it instantly there's something about this fragrance is so magical in the summer time it does have beast mode projection but longevity nowadays it's not that uh crazy you know like uh longevity is kind of like on the average side but if you're a collector you need to get versace purum in your collection because you're going to smell like the man and you're going to get a lot of compliments like polo blue if you like you can try this so i think the construction will start now people started waking up the workers so i'll just cut the video here i'll enjoy the walk and thanks very much for uh, watching my videos uh, i hope i can keep you entertained and perhaps if i'm feeling better and i'll take a trip and get some guests on the channel have a nice day take care bye bye have a nice day once again bye bye